Hi, it's Laurie with Positive Thanks Living, and today we're going to talk about our sense of smell. Yeah. Do you ever have a smelly journal? <laughs> Is that good? Is that bad? I don't know. Sometimes when we make a journal from an older pages from books, ephemera, it has a slightly musty smell. I don't know if that bothers you. For some people it does. And then when we tea dye things, or coffee dye them, they may have a scent that some people enjoy and some people don't. So if you want to get rid of the smell, what do you do? In this video, I'm going to talk, explore five ways to help the less than enjoyable scent of our papers, and whatever the reason. And while I make a tag, I'm going to explore the idea of using scent as a way to spark our creativity. I even have something to unbox that has, it's all about the sense of smell. And I got it from a young woman, young mum, and uh, I wanted to show it to you. I'm thinking of adding some of them to my, to my journal. By the way, this is, the sense of smell is the 77th way of finding your creativity again through a sense of smell. So, first, let's just uh, do the unboxing first, because I want to use the packaging from this box to make a tag, and I'll do that at the end while I talk about the five ways to uh, get rid of smells or add some nice smells. So first, I ordered these, and this is what I'm thinking of adding to my to my journals. They're flat circles. You see how they're packaged and it looks like they're completely sealed. Like when I smell them, I can't sense anything. So if I included them with a journal, it wouldn't impact someone if they are sensitive to smell. Because some people, like for example, for me, sometimes or the smell of oranges or orange peels trigger a migraine. I don't know why, it just does. So I wouldn't want to trigger anything when I gift a journal, but I also, um, yeah, I think it'd be a nice thing to include. So I ordered two French lavender ones, so I could open one. That's the first thing that, and this uh, company is Sensi. I'd never heard of it before, but this young woman, she wants to stay at home with her little boy. He's. I don't know how old he is, seven, eight months, maybe? Maybe six months? Anyhow, so she's taken on this role in a company, and so I saw it on her Facebook page. Her name's Ashley. I'll link below to where you can find her Facebook page, but I thought this is really pretty to use as a tag, so you know us junk journalers, we use everything we can. Okay, so it's sealed, you can't smell it. And I think they're supposed to last for a few months, obviously not forever, because it's just a... Pardon me as I put this under my nose to smell it. Oh, is that ever pretty? Wow, it's delicate. It's not overpowering at all. And it's a pretty color. I could put something over top of that if I wanted to, to decorate. But yeah, okay, I'm starting to smell it now in the room. That's nice. That's nice. Anyhow, I have a bunch of these and there is no way to smell the scent when it, the way it's packaged. That was one of the think questions I asked her because I thought if I'm going to include this in a journal and somebody is sensitive to scent, I don't want to cause a problem. So I have vanilla waves, French lavender, tangerine creamsicle, peach nectar and apricot vanilla. Cool, huh? There, oh, there's many, many more scents. I don't know how many, but there was a lot to choose from. So that's cool. I like those. That was my first thought of, you know, our junk journal. Now this uh, is what they call the whiff box. Whiff box from Scentsy. And they're supposed to be things in here like uh, just random things from all their products that you can try things out. So here we go. We're gonna open it up. Ah, I 
and see what's in here. Scent with love. Ha ha, get it? I like clever things. Scent, S-E-N-T, but also S-C, scent, get it? All right, here we go. So they've included a little whiff box. Time for a refresh. All right. Water, I like. Oh, they're telling me all the different things I can do with their products. That's cool. And it's in French and Spanish and English. Nice. <laughs> Share my unboxing moment. Okay, I will. <laughs> And it looks like you can order this monthly or just one of them. And I just ordered one because I thought I was interested in what they have. Some plastic packaging. Hmm, what's this? A dishcloth, a Swedish dishcloth. Okay, that's cool and fun. Huh. So it must have a scent, a specific scent to it. Let me see if I can smell something interesting. So I guess when you get it wet, but that would be interesting to include in a in a journal. Very interesting. No, nope, no scent to this one. I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> this is fun. I've never done an unboxing on on a video before. Hey, Tiger Lily. These are Scentsy Bars, obviously wax, things to melt. Scent of the month. Interesting. Okay, I guess they, it smells like something orange. Let me smell it. Yes, it's a very delicate orange scent. That's kind of nice. Okay. Aha, yes. Our paper stuff that we can use. We can send somebody a, a journal in this box. So we have some dish soap, Cloudberry Dreams. Nice. Let's see. Mm. It's delicate. It's not. It's not too strong. I really like that. I appreciate that very much. And this one is a bathroom cleaner. Coastal Sunset. Interesting. And it has the spritzer thing. Nice. So I didn't know what I was going to get in this box. It's a surprise, even for the, the consultant. And Counter Clean. Make a splash scent. So all about being at the beach. I like that. You know, when I'm just hanging out in the living room and I feel like some ambiance, I'll turn on ocean videos on my YouTube and stream ocean videos to make myself um, cheer up because I like the ocean. Okay, that's cool. That's really cool. Thank you, Ashley and Sensi. And I'll even use the box, I'm sure. It's a lovely box. Okay, now Let's go on to the ways to make our journal smell nice, or at least more nice. And while I'm doing that, I'll be making a tag from the packaging of the Lavender Circle. I'm gonna make this tag look pretty. And we'll talk about the five different ways of making your paper smell better. <laughs> okay, here we go. So here's the packaging and I'm going to cover the back up with just a plain piece of paper so that it can be written on. And later on you'll see what else I do to make it special. I'm using both a glue stick and Art Glitter Glue. That's glue with no glitter in it. It's just the name of the company. And that, I should have done it the other way now that <laughs> I should have. Yeah, you'll see the problem in a little bit. But let's talk about 
the five ways that we can either take some smell out of the papers that we use or put some nice scent into the papers that we use. The first way to take a scent out, like if it's musty or uh, it has a scent from whatever that you don't care for, tea or coffee dime, is to put it out in the sunshine. Good air, bright sunshine can make a huge difference in how our papers smell. You can lay your papers out on a table outside. Yeah, be sure to weigh them down so the wind won't blow them away. And then uh, let them sit there for the afternoon. Let the sun and the air do their magic. The second way to add some uh, scent to your papers when you're coffee and tea dyeing is to add a dash of vanilla, like vanilla extract that you use for uh, when you're baking. That adds a nice scent and uh, can mitigate some of the tea or coffee smell. You'll have to try it and see if you like it. Um, maybe not everybody likes it. The third way to mitigate some of bad smells and add a nice scent is to store your papers with a dryer sheet. You know, these dryer sheets, they have scents uh, that uh, you choose one that you like and you can do that. Or you could use one of the Scentsy circles I showed you. I think I'm going to try that. I'm going to see how it works. I'll put the circle in with some papers in a plastic bag and see what it smells like a few days after. The other way, the fourth way, to mitigate scents or smells that aren't nice is to use charcoal. So not the kind with starter fluid added. Don't do that. Just plain old charcoal. You can wrap the bricks up in paper towels. That way it keeps them neat and away from the paper you're trying to take the smell out of. And uh, place it all in a paper bag and fold over the bag top to keep it sealed. You can leave the papers in there for a few days. Alternatively, I've used some bamboo charcoal air purifying peg thingies. I'll try and put a picture in at the end so you know what I mean. But I bought them for our RV and I just sort of let them in cupboards and hung one up and, you know, things like that. And they work. Apparently, you can put them out in the sunshine to refresh them. I haven't tried that yet. So it says. So there's a link to those bag thingies below. The other way, the fifth way, is to try baking soda. You can add some essential oils if you like. I'm a lavender person. So uh, you can, I've added a few drops of lavender to baking soda. You know what? I'm thinking about it now. I think you could just add lavender, dried lavender to the baking soda. And that might work too. Anyhow, sprinkle the baking soda over the papers in a pan and then put a bag over the pan and uh, leave them all for a few days. And that'll help take some of the yucky scents out. And just, I've tried multi, like a few of these ideas before just to experiment a bit and had varying success. It depends on the paper, it depends on the smell. I mean, yeah, give it a try, see what happens. So that's five ways to both remove the bad smells and put some good sense into our junk journals. I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, press the like if, if you did, that would be wonderful, that helps a lot. And consider subscribing. I'd love to spend more time with you. And I wonder, have you had issues with papers that smell bad? What did you do? Any other ideas? Just leave them in the comments below and let's, let's share. As I finish up doing this tag that's turned into a booklet, <laughs> 
I'm trying to make it pretty with some punched out butterflies. And a little bit, I'll be doing some drawing on the back. I got these dot markers where one end is thin and the other end has a dot. It makes a beautiful, perfect circle. And I did a little research into how people were using them. Originally, I think they're meant for planners. But uh, I watched a few people do some decorating with these style. And I'm having fun exploring and just playing with the colors. And it's not really the right colors for a vintage journal, but this kind of thing, it works well. You may realize that I've sped up this portion of the video. So it's not quite as fast as what I actually do. <laughs> yeah, I'll link to these markers below so that you can tell. The sense of smell to spark our creativity, as I said earlier, is the 77th idea I have in 100 ideas to spark, to bring back your creativity. And I think this one has a lot of merit. We're driven by our sense of smell in ways that we don't realize. So it's, I'd encourage you to try it out. Um, and if you'd like those 100 ways, they're available on my website. Again, the link will be below. I've really enjoyed spending this time with you. I wish you well. I look forward to more videos and sharing more things. Take care. It's Lori with Positive Things Living and uh, happy crafting. Bye for now.